Hello everyone, my name is Sydney Chamar and I'm a medical student from Nova Southeastern University down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, before I begin, I would like to thank my partner, Sofria Durali in the audience, as well as um, my mentor who couldn't be here, Dr. Parmar, um, in guiding my research journey. Um, so as a team, we wanted to study the relationship between depression and dementia. As we know, there is a correlation between having dementia and then later on developing depression. However, I wanted to um, investigate whether the reverse was also true um, and whether depression serves as a risk factor for dementia. Um, so my literature review consisted of um, peer-reviewed articles from the year 2000 to current day, um, excluding any older articles as well as any systematic reviews. Um, so in the center, you can see um, five of the articles that I wanted to highlight, um, with the first one being Lee et al. Um, they chose to distinguish between the timing and onset of depression. So they found that um, with adult onset depression only or late life onset depression only, there was not an increase in risk of developing dementia. However, um, with the persistence or recurrence of depression, um, there was an increased risk in developing dementia. Um, and then Wu et al. Um, chose to use the Euro D scale, which is a um, depression scale used in a lot of European countries. It consists of um, a 12 item survey um, assessing factors such as pessimism, fatigue, irritability. Um, and they found that with a a score of greater than or equal to four on that scale, they were more likely to develop dementia. Um, then my next two studies, Azadi et al. and Almeida et al. both use the GDS, which is the Geriatric Depression Scale. Um, it is a 15 item survey asking um, a series of yes or no questions. And you are given a zero or a one on that, depending on what you answer to the question. Um, and they both found that with the increased severity of the depressive symptoms, there was an increase in dementia. Almeida defined that as a greater than 10 on the GDS scale. Um, and then lastly, um, Barnes et al. actually did a study distinguishing the different types of dementia. So there's they chose vascular and Alzheimer's, um, vascular being damage to the blood vessels and then Alzheimer's being um, neurodegeneration. Um, they used the Kaiser EMR database and asked patients from 1971 to 1979, which would leave the patients at about 55 years old, so midlife, um, whether they had extended, extensive symptoms of sadness or depression. Um, and if they answered yes on that, they would get a um, midlife depression diagnosis. And then later on in 2001, they again asked these patients um, these symptoms and also looked at the database to see if they were um, diagnosed before with any um, major depressive disorder. And so then that determined whether you had midlife depression, late life depression, or recurrent depression. Um, then they used the database to determine if there was any diagnosis of Alzheimer's or vascular dementia. And they found that with a diagnosis of late life depression, it was correlated to um, more likely the higher risk of developing Alzheimer's. And then with the recurrent or persistent depression, there was a higher risk of developing vascular dementia. Um, so that was a really interesting study on distinguishing the different types of dementia. Um, so to conclude, I did find that um, depression does have an impact on the progression and development and onset of dementia. Um, however, to um, look into this further, I think that something that would benefit us as future physicians and physicians um, is studying whether participants on SSRIs or antidepressants, um, whether improving those depressive symptoms can also improve um, the severity of symptoms of dementia um, or possibly the prevention of dementia. Um, and with that, I'm done. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions? Questions? Thank you for your presentation. Yeah. Um, were there other studies that met your criteria outside of these five that you found? Yes. Or what led to the selection of these five in particular? Yes, so um, I chose these five, um, one being a lot of them were more recent and more relevant, and then also um, ones that had very um, high yield findings. Um, a lot of my other articles included in my paper have similar findings, um, so I just chose these five to highlight. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
others? Questions? Uh, if you don't. 